kid, it was like, that was like a holiday. My dad took us out of school and that's what we did with shrimp. Oh yeah, the shrimp is not near as good as what it used to be around here, up this far. It's still good down around Pirates Cove, Fair Point, the intercoastal over there, but the last few times, pulled down, probably a couple miles down there, and we had about five shrimp. There used to be a ton of clams down here too. We grew up swimming all around and there were clams everywhere. There used to be grass beds all through here where you catch fish on. There's no grass anymore. Right now we're at the mouth of 11 mile. This is the mouth of 11 mile. The mouth of Perdita River is right over there. Marcus Bayou's over there and straight over is uh, the old sawmill off Lillian Highway. And then you have Heron Bayou back over that way and then that's south bay the the water color up 11 mile is really dark dark water looks like charcoal completely different than in the river and in the bay yeah when we fish up uh marcus bayou we used to fish over there a lot bass fish and majority of fish you catch would have sores on them i would never eat anything that i caught over there we always threw them back trail. My dad would put the boat in for us during the summertime before he'd go to work. Me and my brother lived out here on the bay. I would like to see the shrimp come back or if there's something, you know, if they're doing something not supposed to and it's hurting, I, I'd do what I can do to make it better, make it back the way it was. Josh, what a fine boat, son. Yeah. Hey, did y'all catch any trout? Yeah, out here at the mouth. Yeah, so I got two out there, but little bitty guys. Yeah, I caught about six or eight, and they were all small. I, I got one fish. Caught him up the river. It's tough, man. It is tough. That should be a bunch of fish here, but it's, I don't know. My thoughts on IP? Um, IP, you know, they're a big business trying to make money. I guess they're doing the best they can with these wetlands. I don't know if they're hurting anything or not. There's, there's, there's fish here, so. Only thing is, I don't know about the eating the fish that live here. Now, see, the trout are seasonal. They'll come in and they'll go back out. And I don't think there's probably a problem with them. But the larger fish that live here, the bass, uh, uh, the brim, and the, the fish like that, I don't know if it'd be safe to eat them out of this creek. I do not know a thing about the shrimp. I know that there's hardly any flounder left anymore, and the speckled trout are going downhill. Would it surprise you that they're failing their chronic toxicity tests on the water flea, which is a crustacean that the state of Florida studies? So that sounds criminal to me. I mean, something should be done. If you're going to have standards, why have standards if you don't enforce it? I, I, don't, I don't understand that. It, it, I just know from living here, I fished this river all my life, but I fished it steadily for the last 25 years, and it's going downhill. It, there's fewer and fewer fish and it gets harder and harder to catch fish. And I know this place, I know it very well. <laughs> so if it's yep. tough for me and this man sitting right there, if it's tough for us, then it's really, really hard and it's not right. Uh, it's pitiful what, what they do, in my opinion, what, what they do to the land and, and the water. I think the state of Florida should do something if they really cared. That's what I think. If, if it's bad, then it's bad. Then they need to do better. <laughs>